weeks ago, my computer monitor blew up. Well, it didn't actually blow up, but it stopped working. It'd been, uh, I'd had it for a long time, quite a few years, um, but all the colors went funny and it was no good anymore. So uh, I had to invest in a new monitor. Um, this is a very high quality um, ISO monitor. It's designed for photography and video editing and for graphics professionals. But even though it's a new monitor, uh, you need to make sure if you're, really, um, if you're really interested in getting the very best out of your images, you need to make sure that your monitor is calibrated so you get the very best colour. Because there's nothing worse than trying to work on your images and the colour being wrong and then finding when you output the images that they don't look the same as they did on your screen. Now, there's an easy way around this. This device that I've got here, this is not a mouse, it looks like a mouse, but it's not a mouse. This is a uh, densitometer. And a densitometer is a device that measures color and measures density. And on this one, it comes with some software that you install on your computer first. And that allows you, uh, or allows this machine to measure the colors on the screen and calibrate the screen uh, to get it absolutely accurate. Now you can get these things from um, specialized photography retailers or computer retailers. Uh, this is the X-Rite system and it's connected via a USB port. And I'm just going to show you while I'm doing this the first time on this screen how you do this. Basically you just uh, put that over the top of the monitor, get it fixed somewhere roughly in the middle and then you need to tilt the um, screen backwards somewhat so that it just stays in place and then you go down to the uh, software on the screen for um, the calibration and that one there is the i1 match and it's pretty much all automated you just run through the process follow the instructions so I'm just going to click through there advanced level stage 2 and it's asking me what type of screen I've got it's an LCD and then it's asking me the gamma and the white balance, I know that the white balance on this monitor is 6,500K and I'm going to use a gamma of 2 um, as my choice of gamma, that's the contrast setting that um, is programmed in the screen. You can vary those on some screens, uh, Mac screens are usually a gamma of 1.8, Windows screens are usually a gamma of 2.2, uh, I like working at a gamma of 2 and I'm going to move on from there and it just adjusted the screen just then automatically ready to make its calibration and now I basically get ready to start that and RGB controls next step is adjusting RGB presets and there we go and now um, this is just going to take care of itself basically what you're seeing it there that it's doing at the moment is, is identifying where the actual densitometer is on the screen. So it's creating these uh, patches, figuring out where the densitometer is, and it's going to narrow it down to that zone. And uh, once it's calculated that, it will run through a series of color tests and um, um, experiments to figure out the correct colors. So I'm going to leave that, get on with that for a while and uh, we'll come back and look at the finished result of what it looked like before and after. Okay, that looks like it's uh, completed. So, uh, what it's done is it's created a color profile which it saves in the uh, computer's color profiles and um, we can then select that profile as the one that we want to use uh, in conjunction with this monitor. So let's just have a look at the before and after and we'll see the difference. If I say calibration off, there we go, and calibration on. So you can see there's a huge difference in how it would have been displayed. And it's now set to activate a reminder for me uh, to calibrate this every week. I've got it set on a weekly basis. Say finish calibration. That calibration profile has been created. And it's as simple as that. So a really easy way to make sure that your screen is at its optimum 
um, in terms of displaying the colours um, that you want to use to work on in uh, photography uh, and photography related software, uh, making sure that your uh, output is going to match as close as possible uh, to your screen display.